Uh, well, you see two series and you see the 2D, mostly flat work uh, that are carvings. They're bas relief and haute reliefs, meaning that I carved into the clay and I added to this to the surface of the clay. Um, and that was a series that I've been wanting to pursue. Um, I have what I call material envy, something fierce. So I'm, I'm always wanting to be a painter and a metal smith and a glass artist. I, I, I want all materials at once to work into my artwork, but I, I find I'm most nimble with ceramics. This series was, how do I fill that wall? You know, as a 3D artist, we fill space quickly, easily, but that wall is, is, uh, is just waiting there for us. And I, and I don't want to have to make wall sculpture in this case. I wanted to, I wanted to make something two dimensional and you really get into, into another media's territory, especially a media like painting who they have this sort of dimensional ownership over that wall and that flatness and that rectangle and square. And I just wanted to broach with, and not with, not with a tile. I'm not going to call this a tile. This is a panel, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm coming into your territory. I'm gonna, gonna see what it's like um, to take over some of this space that's really dominated by historically through painting. An art historian is definitely gonna say that I'm drawing from uh, 1906 to 1927, Russian avant-garde, futurism, cubism. My perspective and part of my education uh, is a vast historical look back at the role that geometry's played, you know, in, in human history. And that these aren't modernist art movements. These are just very real historical relationships with geometry that humans have always had. And I, and I wanted to look at these again. And I was definitely influenced by, you know, the early part of the 20th century because those artists, decided to look at geometry again in a, diff in a new way. Um, but they didn't always get to finish that. Like the Russian avant-garde was co-opted by the, you know, the communist governments, by Stalinism. Uh, the futurists were co-opted with Mussolini. Uh, so that, that conversation, that dialogue sort of stopped short. Mm -hmm. The it's panels, the, keeping them flat, flipping them for three weeks while they dried, you know, between sheetrock and, um, getting them through these firings uh, f somewhat flat because that's just something clay doesn't want to do. And any way you've torqued it or, or stretched it, it's going to want to bend and bow. If I carved it too thin in a place, it'll, it'll start to splay up. So th those were those technical challenges. And I wanted my work to be more about how similar things are in reality. So that's, you know, like my, all my education in anthropology and comparative religion and languages was about seeing how things are similar in cultures, how people are similar, how languages, mathematical language, visual language, linguistic language are, have similar traits. So it's about finding the, the sameness of things.